it's Adam from 3GT. I uh, thought we'd start with our series. We've been promising a whole bunch of really uh, interesting and short videos around a fire control triangle, stance, grip, trigger, to try and give little segments and fundamentals around how we can actually help you shoot better. Stance is a very important part of the fire control triangle because if we don't have a really nice, relaxed, uh, but also stable base, our firearm will very, very easily knock us off our balance and you'll find a lot of people rolling back. So when we're doing court classes or even doing competitions, we quite often see that people will come in or, or approach the target with a feet position standing up quite straight, feet are side by side and quite narrow together. This is going to induce a couple of different issues uh, because we want to have our center of gravity a little bit further forward if possible. So normal, normal nine millimeter round, the recoil impulse is around four and a half kilograms of felt pressure when we feel it in the palm of our hands. And Myself being quite tall, the longer lever uh, of the force will actually fit, knock me back quite easily. So when you see people uh, firing a shot and their toes are actually starting to pick up off the ground like this, that is their brain trying to overcome that recoil. So we'll see what happens to my body as I ride the recoil. Generally what's going to happen is I'm probably going to just... The force force of the recoil, the faster you shoot, the more the recoil pushes your body back. So you'll see a lot of people will form this sort of position. So even though our center of gravity is going lower, if you notice, my hips will actually go back. So it's actually better. However, I still, I still am actually getting felt push recoils pushing me back. Ideally, we'd like to have our center of gravity, which is oriented around where our belt buckle would normally be. This is where our center of gravity would be. Regardless of what your height is or isn't, this is where your CG is normally going to reside. Ideally, we want to have that pretty much if you drop the plumb bob straight down from my belt buckle. It should align pretty much at where the ball of my front foot is. If I'm a lefty, it's pretty much the same, but on the opposite side, the master foot, your strong foot is back. So we can have, from, I'm a right-handed shooter. So I've got my feet offset from front to back. The toe of my shoe is essentially in line with the instep of my front foot. Very importantly, your ankle should be an italicized L, not straight up slightly bent with your knees relaxed. And that enables me to bring my belt buckle a little bit further forward, my hips are forward. What I'm feeling on the ground, I'm feeling my toes gripping the ground. I'm feeling a little bit of tension in my feet, but from, and also in my front of my shins. But overall, from my knees up, I'm quite relaxed. So my center of gravity is now a little bit further forward. I've got agility forward and aft. I can also move laterally from left to right very easily, and I can transition on target. I can bring the gun up, head down behind the gun. So my toes, my toes are not moving. See, my toes are not are rising up, coming back to where I was aiming, and I'm not rocking back as I was. Thanks very much for watching guys, really appreciate your time and checking us out. Uh, if you've got any suggestions on what you'd like to see and get some tips, please feel free to send us an email, make a comment. Please like and subscribe, share and follow us for some more good content. See you on the range, cheers.